<laughs> All right. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to LS Crew. I'm Rob. I'm Haley, and I'm Jeremy. All right. So we're gonna start off today talking about bunt cakes. So what is bunt cakes? Bunt cakes is basically a cake that's in the style of a donut. Um, this guy Nordic War, he invented the cast aluminum pan that basically molds the cake to make it look like how it does today. Um, it looks like this European version called a, called a, a Guggenhof or something. I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'll I'll throw the actual pronunciation of the actual word on there somewhere. Um, let's see. So the style came originally from the 50s and 60s. So this cake's been around for a long time, especially in North America. Um, so what do they sell? Bun Cakes sells cakes between 8 inches, 10 inches. They sell buntlets, buntinis, and bunt towers. Uh, <laughs> tiered bun cakes that are basically the 10 inch on the bottom and the 8 inch on the top. And actually when we got married, that's what we did for our cake. We had the 10 on the bottom and the 8 on the top. Um, that was really good. Maybe a whole bunch of the small little the buntinis to eat as well. Like we're gonna taste test today. Um, some of their flavors that they can include is the chocolate chocolate chip. They have the classic vanilla. They have a red velvet. They have a white chocolate raspberry. Uh, confetti, classic vanilla. They have uh, carrot, lemon, marble, and of course the pecan praline. Or praline. Praline, whatever you praline. want to call it. Uh, so yeah. So what are the favors we're going to try today, babes? We are trying a carrot cake, a red velvet cake, their white chocolate raspberry, a lemon, and a chocolate. And then they also have a new flavor called snickerdoodle that we were able to get today. So very excited for that one. Cool. And as you can see, we also have milk, too. What is a buntlet? The buntlet is this. This is the buntini. Mm -hmm. It's the smallest one you can get. This is the bite-sized one. Uh, the buntlet is the medium-sized one that comes wrapped in plastic. And actually, at the beginning of the video, you can see those in the display. Um, yeah, so this is the buntini. Wait. The buntlet's the medium one. So there's a bigger version of these yeah. little ones? Yeah. It's the free ones you get on your birthday if you sign up. Oh, really? I don't know. I know that one, though. But obviously, yeah, I didn't know they were bigger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so let's dig in. Um, what do you want to try first, babe? Let's do a classic chocolate. Okay. I was actually thinking the same yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> well, should we do chocolate? What are you going to do? You want that red velvet one right there? Uh, Rob, we're all eating the same one. The same one. one at the same time. Oh, we're going to do the same one at the same time? Yes! Oh, all right. You're going to have to cut. You're going to have to cut. That's getting cut out. All right. Chocolate? Or I'll do chocolate? Yeah. Yes. Let me just flip that one because we gave the other one to dad. Pretty moist. Mm -hmm. It's got chocolate chips in it. I don't remember yeah. having chocolate chips the last time I ate out. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. I'm gonna call it chocolate, chocolate chocolate chip because it's literally chocolate cake with chocolate chips in it. Mm. Yeah, it ruins it because chocolate always gets stuck between my cream. <laughs> and all the frosting is cream cheese frosting. Do they sell different kinds? Mm -hmm. No, I think it's always been cheese, cream cheese. But you know what? It's always been odd mm -hmm. to me is how they make cream cheese frosting taste good on every cake. Mm -hmm. Usually, cream cheese frosting is only associated with this one. Usually. Very good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I want to eat a little more. All right. I'm trying to really good. Okay. All right. What's our next one? Next one. I'll pick the next one. Let's do the white chocolate raspberry. Alright. Okay. Where are we placing the, the chocolate one? Placement wise. 
I'll just stick it right here. In terms of my favorite? Mm -hmm. Oh. Can I put it in the middle to start? Sure. Yeah. Well, you can use mine because mine is not a lot. Alright, white chocolate raspberry time. Well, so we'll do the best ones on this side and the worst ones on this side? Perfect. That works. Alright. Clean this fork off. White chocolate raspberry. Mm. I like how these call these bite size, but like, this is like two bite sizes. You know, three. Yeah. I always, um, I like this one when we were at your wedding, so I still like them. Right now? This one is the best. I'm gonna call this one as number one. What do you think, Jeremy? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. It's always been number one to me. That one's so good. That one's bomb. It's got that sweet raspberry taste and... And I'm not a big white chocolate person. I don't really like white I mean, chocolate, neither. and this is good. Neither mm -hmm. am I. That's why when we first were picking it, I was like... I don't know. <laughs> it was good though. Yep. Hmm. Okay. Alright, Jing Yang, what's our next one? I get to pick. Yay. Um. Carrot. Ew. <laughs> it's really not my favorite. It's probably the most dreaded one. I think I'm gonna pick the classic red velvet because right. this one is actually the one that's made. Oh, I got the Jake one. <laughs> hey, you kicked it out of my hand. We'll post that later in the video. No, it wasn't okay. recorded. I know, so. Thank goodness it wasn't. That was embarrassing. Alright, come on. Okay. Or I'll just get the piece that didn't touch the floor. Um, oh, yeah. Just get the you know, All right. smush part. Okay. Oh, this one has chocolate chip it in does. it, too. I was just gonna say that. And I don't know if you guys can see this in the video from this far away, but it's a dark, dark red. This is a really nice red. Yeah, this one's always been my favorite. Mm. Mm. Is it better than the chocolate? Mm-hmm. Sure. I feel like red velvet's always been better than the chocolate. Are we putting it above the white chocolate rider? No. Or right underneath I'd say this is like a second. second or third place. This is really good. Let's put it at second, and then we'll go from there. Okay, yeah, we're gonna eat the rest mm. of mine, so, yeah. I'm gonna say let's try the snickerdoodle because I've never had this flavor and I'm very excited to try it. I don't even it. think we had it at the wedding, huh? No, it wasn't available. It, it, didn't, it's new. it didn't exist. It's new. Oh, is it really? Mm -hmm. Because I didn't even know it existed. So. I'm assuming it's this one, right? The lighter one, yeah. So what, what flavors do we have left then? So we have lemon and carrot. Lemon, lemon, lemon and carrot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm kind of nervous about that's this. The, no, that's the carrot. This is the carrot? Yeah. Yeah, it's this one. Oh. The carrot's probably going to be last. These are the lemons. And you got a lemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. It smells good. It smells like cinnamon. Wait, let's smell it real quick. Mm. It does. Ooh, like a gingerbread house kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Gingerbread house kind of. Sniffy, sniffy. Nice. Okay. <laughs> this for this one. They aren't tasted before. Mm. Oh no. This is like cinnamon bun. That's really good. This kind of has like that. It's not overly sweet. Mm. Do you know what this tastes like? Mm. Like cinnamon bun. Well, partly, but you know those like you know that like coffee cake that has like the cinnamon swirl in it. That's what this tastes like. Mm. It's really good. I don't know about that again. I don't know where we put this on the list though. Shoot, yeah, I don't know. This one's really good though. Like, is it better than chocolate or is it under chocolate? Mm. Well, I feel like, to me, I feel like chocolate's like such like an overdone flavor and like almost anything. And like, the chocolate, that chocolate's good, but it's like, it's, it's chocolate. Like the best chocolate. Nah, it's, no. like, it's, it's just chocolate. I think like, this is better than the chocolate. Kind of like when I got a chocolate, at, I didn't get one at your wedding, but then I got another one another day. I was like, it wasn't as exciting as I thought everybody made it to sound like, because mm -hmm. they literally ate them all and I didn't get any. 
So are we gonna say, I'm gonna say third place right now. Okay. Yeah. Or, Cause chocolate would be in for a four. Do you think it's better than the red velvet? Um, I don't think it's better than the red velvet though. Like, I don't know. It's also our first time trying it. We've had red velvet a couple times, and this is also a new flavor. I'd say thirds are pretty good. Thirds in the middle. So we'll put it, we'll, yeah, we can put it in the middle. Because red velvet really never moves in my book. It's always just good. It's always good. <laughs> All right, what are we going with next? Um, who, who, yeah, Rob picks it first. So I was trying to figure out. We can go with lemon. Lemon? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll save the, the worst for last then. I'm a big carrot cake fan. I'm not so much. All right, lemon. Okay, wait, let's smell it. It smells like lemon. It smells fresh. It smells, and it's not like a very mm. nasty, tangy lemon. It smells like nice and fresh. It smells like fresh. a good, like lemon, lemony, sweet lemony cake. Mm. Yeah, I've always liked this one. Mm. Oh, good. I think this one's better than Snickerdoodle Love. Mm -hmm. I'm a big lemon fan now. A big Because Snickerdoodle is good, but it's not an in your face good flavor. Mm -hmm. Like it's kind of like. It's not apple. light, but like there. Like like, like cinnamon, bun, cinnamon bun has that good kind of like in your face cinnamon flavor. This one's like on its way there, but it's not crazy, crazy sugar. Yet. And the lemon's really refreshing. Yeah. And yeah, this is good. like so I said, I, I'm big fan of lemon. Lemon's gonna dessert. be oh, wait, third. Okay. Are we doing lemon as third? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move them all down a little bit just because I know for a fact if you put it too close to your mouth, it's gonna get out of the frame. Because I know your mouth's not in the frame. All right. The last one. one. Carrot cake. Oh, We're gonna gain so much weight out of this video. <laughs> <laughs> No, not me. I don't get it. Oh, you guys want the carrot cake? I'm just gonna, I was going to take one more bite of my oh, lemon real Go quick. for it. Oh, that's fun. I'm just going to smell this. <laughs> oh, yummy. It smells like carrot cake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to move my plate, though. I just don't know. I think the fact that there's carrots in it, like legit kanji carrots, is what grosses me out. No offense to anybody who likes carrots. Yeah, I like carrot cake, cake but... It has a nice taste, right, but ready? I just feel like it's like... Yeah. I feel like, yeah, carrot cake is... The bunk cake carrot cake is different than the traditional carrot cake. Yeah, the traditional one has like... Really nice. It's not very moist. It's very crummy. It's and, yeah. dry. Yeah, this one you can taste the dryness. And it doesn't taste like carrot cake. It kind of It's almost like a spice cake. Yeah. It's kind of either gritty or kind of um, clumpy. Yeah. And in certain instances, it kind of tastes spongy. And it kind of, yeah. it kind of like it's, it's like it's trying to be the snickerdoodle. Like it kind of has like that like similar it's, flavor. It's a more gritty type. Yeah. It's not as moist though. No. Like almost like this one that like they made and it's been sitting out for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> All the other ones were great. All the other ones were great. I'm not. Even last time we got the carrot cake. Oh yeah. It was dry. It's just always been. I think that's how the carrot cake is made. So I'm definitely gonna say we can all agree the carrot cake is the last. No, yeah. I would put it in between the chocolate. Really? No. And the Snickers. No, there's At least no the way. Chocolate's moist. The chocolate is way better. Let's try the chocolate one more time. There's only one chocolate left, so you better take some off these. No, I got a little bite of mine. Okay. Yeah, the chocolate went in my butt. Yeah, it's so much fluffier though. Right. I'm thinking that's where it beats it. It is, it's softer. It's softer. Alright then. Carrot cake. Sorry, you lose. Alright. So number one. White chocolate raspberry, in our opinion, was <clears throat> the best flavor. Red Velvet's a close second. Always has been. Lemon's definitely refreshing. It's at third. Love lemon. Snickerdoodle is their newest flavor. So it's number four. So it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. It is something different. So. It's definitely good. Like, I would eat it again. Mm -hmm. I would eat all these again. 
Uh, maybe, maybe not, not the, the carrot, carrot cake. cake. I've tried it a couple times and it just tastes the same just always. It's always gritty. Chocolate. Your normal chocolate. Number five. And as we said, we've we the carrot cake. cake so it's at last. So that's last. Yup, yup. I, uh. What flavors did we do for the wedding? We did. Well, talk, talk about the, the cakes though. Because we, we remember in the beginning of the video, I talked about how we did the tier cake with the eight, 10 inch on the bottom and the 8 inch. Which one did we do? We did um, the 10 inch on the bottom with red velvet, and then top 8 inch one with lemon. And then we did a little bunch of bunkinis, which we did red velvet, white chocolate raspberry, and chocolate. I think we did some red. No, we didn't do red velvet because our cake was red velvet. Yeah, and there was so, so much. Those red. Red. We only had white chocolate. We had so and much cake red. left. The chocolate, but the chocolate ones were gone in like a couple minutes. The other ones were left. Okay, the white chocolate was all good with me. I know, but and we did, and we even did the voting to see which cake everybody <laughs> liked, so that way everybody we knew for a fact that we would eat them, you know. So like for the bontinis, we did red velvet. We did, no, we I think, we didn't do the red velvet bontinis. No, because we had the big cake. No, because they had the big one. Yeah, and we so, did white chocolate red. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Um, once again, these are called Bunt Cakes. Nothing from Nothing Bunt Cakes is the name of the company. Um, like I said in the beginning of the video, these started out in North America in the 50s and 60s. I have no idea where you can get them in your state, depending on where you live. But and we're in Arizona, so it's like we have a couple in our state. And uh, if you do, we highly recommend you try them. Yes, they're very good. At least once. They're very good. And if you have, then you know what we're talking about. <laughs> If you either like them or don't like them. Yes. Leave a like. Subscribe if you feel like it. We're doing this for fun. We really don't care.